Welcome to Gospel Embassy Chapel and be spiritually nourished by Pastor Peter Murwabi. Skiriza, shetani yupo na lazima tumuchulishe kwamba sisi pia tumemfahamu Mungu. You can also watch the powerful and uplifting sermons live on YouTube channel every Saturday. Haki ya Mungu kwa jina la Yesu maisha yao yataharibika. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen. Gospel Embassy Network TV, the place to feed on heavenly bread. Matthew 24 verse 14 And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Sahiri ya fedha ni nakuinua sahiri 
ya mali wewe ni sahidi wewe ni sahidi ya manukato wewe ni sahidi ya kitu cha gharama cha pei wewe ni sahidi bwana na leo ninakuinua i lift my foes and my hands just to lift your hand son of god you are lifted up and we lift you tonight and we lift your name tonight and we choose to lift you tonight hey we lift you son of god yes we lift you up yes we lift you up we lift you up we lift you up you
Kosha mikono ya kumari uliko kukota uliko Ino mikono ya kusa Nime kuja Nime kuja ni kwa mwuri Wana Wana tumi mwuri Siku sote Siku sote Siku sote Siku sote Nime kuja Wana Siku sote Niku chue Niku amudu Niku chue Niku amudu Niku fa Sauti yako, hallelujah Hallelujah You can do it better, hallelujah Hallelujah Mwiza mweza kwa hata umefiko mwabudu Mwiza, yaani, ikana ayo hiki, ikana ayo mwaza kasiri Hallelujah Umbari tumetoka Baba ni nguvu zako Nipo za tunasema Wewe ni epene za sema Mbari tumetoka tumeo Tumetoka mwana Sema, sema Wewe ni epene Mbari tumetoka Wana wewe ni epene za Tunakwendua, tunakumidua Sema, he Mbari tumetoka tumeo Mbari tumetoka tumeo Nipo za tunasema Wewe ni epene za Mwushi ni metoka na chami yangu Nipo sana sema epeleza Mbari tumetoka tumeo na 
Lakini bwana zaidi ya yote wewe ni mungu wa maajabu Umetutenda wema Ulituambia kwamba mwaka huu utakuwa neema maradufu You say it is a year of double grace and we have seen your grace this year my father Asante kwa sababu umekuwa muaminifu kwetu Asante kwa sababu umetuonekania Asante kwa sababu umetupigania Umetuhifadhi Umetupa nguvu Umetuinua Umetuonyesha upendo ambao hatujawaiona. Na siku hii tena tunashukuru kwa sababu tumefika mwisho wa mwaka huu. Na tunaendelea kukushukuru kwa sababu wewe ndiye ulie na bado utazidi kuwa nasi in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
natangaza kwamba kusudi lako la ibada ya leo ikatimie katika maisha ya kila mmoja aliye hapa na yeyote yule ambaye anatutazama katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwamba nguvu ambayo inatembea hapa roho mtakatifu ambaye anatuhudumia hapa akawahudumie hata walipo nyumbani katika jina la Yesu Kristo Asante mfalme maneno yanatukosa lakini tunashukuru tunasema wewe ni Mungu Asante El Shaddai in Jesus mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. You can have your seats. Amen. Nashukuru Mungu sana. Kwa sababu in every season he still remains to be God. Praise God. Hata vile ambavyo tumezoea kufanya mambo yakiwa tofauti bado tunamuinua tu. Haleluya. Na siku ya leo uh, this year as we started this year the Lord told us that this is a year of double grace. Praise God. And most of us initially we believe that this double grace we just interpreted it as blessing, breakthrough, uplifting, promotion from one level to another. But as we reached March, April, May, June, is when we really saw what the double grace meant. Because kwanzia hapo ndiyo mambo ya libadilika. COVID was on the highest. Watu walikuwa mefikiria itakuwa kitu ya miezi chache hivi. Even, you know, even at work, what we call at watch at one by June, there were pay cuts, there were people who were fired because there was no job. We lost our loved ones during that from that period. Yani ni kama mambo ya libadilika na kukawa giza. Na ukweli ni kwamba that is when I saw the double grace. Praise the Lord. And this far, we are still thanking God. Na mwaka huu Mungu alitombia kwamba he can still be trusted. Praise the Lord. And that is what I have come to tell you once again. That this same God who was, who is, and is continuing to be forever can still be trusted. Bwana asifiwe. Bado huyu Mungu ni muaminifu. Na hata kama imekuwa vile imekuwa. Wakati kama huu tunashukuru Mungu sana. Huwa tunasema Bwana tunakushukuru tumekuwa hai, wengine wamekufa lakini sisi tuko hai. Lakini nataka niwaambie hivi. Whether uko hai ama umekufa, bado Mungu ni mwaminifu. Tunaelewana. Iwe uko hai ama umekufa, umetoka kwa mwili, bado Mungu ni mwaminifu. Iwe wewe umefika hapa uko hai, hakuna yeyote kwa familia yako, hakuna rafiki yako yeyote alifariki. Mungu ni mwaminifu. Na hata kama ndugu zako wazazi wako wapendwa wako watoto wako marafiki zako walikufa bado Mungu ni mwaminifu Bwana asifiwe Bado Mungu amebaki kwa nini mwaminifu Kama alikutimizia mahitaji yako yote mwaka huu ulitaka kazi ukapata ulitaka mchumba ukapata ulitaka mtoto ukapata Mungu ni mwaminifu na kama haijatimizwa hujapata huyo mchumba hujapata hiyo kazi hujapata huyo mtoto hujapata hiyo promotion god still remains to be faithful bwana asifiwe na kama ulikuja hapa unasema yenyewe tunaenda pale watu wao wanatoa tu shuhuda na kushangilia kile ambacho Mungu ametendea mimi Mungu hajanitendea chochote nataka kukuambia kwamba Mungu bado ni mwaminifu na bado hajamaliza uko hai Hilo ni jambo la muhimu kama uko hai jua kwamba Mungu hajamalizana na wewe. Haleluya. Na tunapoingia mwaka huu mpya. Nataka nataka mjifunze kumshukuru Mungu kwa kila majira. Wakati unashuhudia kwamba Mungu amekutendea. Don't be insensitive kwa yule ambaye Mungu hajamtendea. Bwana asifiwe wakati unashukuru Mungu kwamba haujakufa familia yako haijakufa 
Usione kwamba yule ambaye amefiwa kwamba yeye Mungu hajakuwa mwaminifu. Mungu ni mwaminifu. Bwana asifiwe. So that as we are moving in this journey, we are mindful of our brothers and sisters. Kwamba yule hajapokea na yule amepokea, Mungu ni mmoja ni mmoja unless yeye ni mchawi. Hiyo tu. Unless yeye ni mchawi, anafanyia shetani kazi, e, akienda hakuna shida kwa sababu anafaa anafaa kufanya nini kwa sababu kazi yake ni kumaliza wachawi kazi yao ni kumaliza kuleta shida na matatizo wakienda hakuna shida but if it is a believer he who has received of the lord and he who has not received of the lord we are still serving the same god that this same god is our father and this same god is faithful praise the lord na mwaka huu kama ni kulia tumelia kama ni maswali tumeuliza tume maswali. Tulivuka mwaka tukisherekea lakini hiyo hiyo tarehe moja sisi kama gospel embassy tulikuwa tumepata hasara. Lakini Mungu ametuona mpaka mbali huko. Bwana asifiwe. We have cried, we have asked questions, we have had doubt. But the Lord has still remained to be faithful. If there is nothing else you have seen in this year just see that the Lord has been faithful. Ametufanyia makubwa. Hata kuona kwamba mko hapa nyinyi hivi it has taken the hand of God. So usiwahi fikiria kwamba Mungu amebadilika, Mungu hajabadilika. Alitenda, anatenda sasa hivi na bado ataendelea kutenda zaidi na zaidi. Bwana asifiwe. Na nataka mjue hivi Zechariah 4:6 Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 Na inasema hivi Nasoma NIV NIV says So he said to me This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel Not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the Lord Almighty Praise the Lord And I want to give you new century version. Inasema kwamba then he told me this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. You will not succeed by your own strength or by your own power. But by my spirit says the Lord all powerful. Praise God. We will not succeed by our power, by our might, but only by the spirit of God. Na inasema tu God it has, it, it has said God all powerful. Tunapoingia mwaka huu kile ambacho tunaanza ni kukubaliana kwamba hakuna lolote ambalo sisi wenyewe tunaweza kwa nguvu zetu. Kila jambo ambalo tunafanya ni kwa ajili ya nguvu za Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. I, I, I look at how the year has been and mahali tumefika hapa there are things that have happened that you not see that it itafika kesho unaona kwamba yani kesho hakutafika hata ukiamka asubuhi unashangaa bado niko hai i am yani i am able to wake up and do something it is not your power because your power had already judged kwamba hautaamka hautakuwa haitawezekana lakini ikawezekana na mwaka huu ingawa imekuwa vigumu Mungu ametutendea makuu zaidi. Ameponya watu zaidi. Tumefikia watu wengi zaidi. Watu wengi wamejitoa kwa Yesu mwaka huu zaidi ya miaka yote ambayo tuko kazi kila siku. Mwaka huu hata watu ambao tumebariki na kusaidia wamepita miaka mingine yote wakati kila jambo lilikuwa sawa. So it, in short God is just communicating that it is not by our ability but his ability. So as the man of God will come and every declaration that will be given today every prophetic word that will be given today. Jo kwamba neno hilo halitatendeka kwa sababu ya nguvu zako. Hilo neno litatendeka kwa maisha yako kwa sababu ya nguvu ya Mungu. Tunaelewana kila jambo kama amesema utapona kama amesema utakuwa na mwanzo mpya kama atasema utasimama tena utainuliwa tena si kwa sababu ya nguvu yako ni Mungu atakayetenda kwa maisha yako praise the lord 
said, let that word never depart from you. That I am able by God's power. Praise God. But this year, I feel like I should close down this ministry and go and do business the way I was doing business. And I said, what's that unification you only have one and again? Your case, you are to God does something, Paka and Apata Tena Amendele and Amendele and Amendele. And we thank God for everything. Praise the Lord. I want us to rise up. And I will make declarations. These are confessions. Kilam to Simame Mahali. Sita Weza Kueleza Kwaki Swahili. But I will I will I will I will say them as they have been given to me in English. Nikisema Mnasema. Amen. Buana Sifiwe. Nasema nini? Amen. To me. As we enter this new year, our Father, you have said that you walk in your light, that you will never leave us and you will always be with us. And this is our confession today. That we will trust in you, O Lord, every day of this year. This is our confession today. Amen. That our faith will never fail or fade, no matter what we go through in this year. This is our confession today. Amen. That every day we will consciously and deliberately walk in your goodness and your mercies. Because your goodness and your mercy are new every day of our lives. This is our confession today. Amen. That we will walk without fear, without shame, without condemnation. Because we are redeemed and we have your spirit, O oh God a spirit of boldness, a spirit of sound mind, and a spirit of love. This is our confession today. Amen. That we have made, we have been made victorious by you, and you have made us more than conquerors. That every day of this year, we will walk constantly in your victory, even when nobody else believes that we will receive victory. This is our confession this day. That my father you have protected us and you have put us far above every power every principality every kingdom and every name on earth or any other place and we will walk boldly without leaving anything to intimidate us or to take control over our lives because you have put us far as above this is our confession this day Amen. from this day forward we will walk joyfully and we will purpose it in our lives to rejoice in season and out of season. All the year round, my father. Whether we are in pain, whether we are in trouble, whether anything happens in our lives, nothing will take us the, away the joy that you have given us. This is our confession today. Amen. And that we'll make use of every opportunity that you will avail to us to make you known to the world. And that we will be active and take part as, our, as believers Faithfully, without failing, this is our confession today. Amen. Father, I thank you because you are faithful. And once again, as we enter this new year, we are still trusting in you because you are unchanging. You are faithful. You do not change your mind. You never walk by emotions. What you have said you will do, you surely do it. And this day, my Father, I take control of everything that you have given us as we get into this year. That every declaration you have given in our lives, that every purpose, that every plan that you have willed for us this year will come through for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we will walk without fear because, my Father, you are a God who is love. And where there is love, there is no fear. I declare, my Father, that as your children receive every word that you have given us this day, it will become flesh in their lives. That we live every day joyous. Every day we'll glorify your name. Every day we'll adore you and we'll worship you because you are our Father and you never change. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for who you are. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Na, na, na. Vile ambavyo Mungu amesema. Wacha iwe hivyo kwa maisha yenu. We'll prepare I will prepare those declarations and you will receive them uh, in our platform as we, as we as we communicate to you. And always remember that God is still in control. God is still in control. You see why sir how evil. God bless you. You can have your seats. Naza Keti, as the man of God comes. You can rise again as we continue singing. uliyeumba mbingu na inji na bahari na vitu vyote tumekusanyika hapa siku ya leo ambayo ni siku ya mwisho ya mwaka wa 2020 na tumekusanyika kwa furaha kwa sababu wengi wetu hatukujua kwamba tungefika 2021 lakini kwa uwezo wako tumekanyaga 2021 Wewe ni Mungu mkuu. Ifi tulitafutwa na wajawi, tukatafutwa na corona, tukatafutwa na marafu na magonjwa, na stress, lakini kwa jina la Yesu tumefuka na tuna furaha kwa jina la Yesu. Sasa leo pokea sifa na utukufu na Mungu utubariki mwaka huu wote mpya katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Piga Yesu makofi mazuri kwa furaha. Amen. Tunaweza kuketi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naomba tuseme kama watu ambao wana furaha na wanamjua Yesu. Nimesema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwaka huu tumeona mabwana Lakini wengi wa wale mabwana wamekwenda. Ujuna mabwana aliyepaki anaitwa Yesu. Sijaona kama una furaha na sema bwana ni Yesu pekee. Glory to Jesus. Can we be seated? Amen. Ilifika mahali kwa ule mwaka ambao umepita. <laughs> 2020 Ilifika mahali watu wengi wakafikiri ama tujinyonge kabla ya corona. <laughs> Lakini leo tuko hapa tunasema jina na Bwana Yesu linuliwe milele. Sikia kama tulikanyaga December ya 2020 
Kanyaka ya 2021 December 2022 December Hallelujah Sioni kama mnataka kukanyaga lakini mimi nitakanyaga tena nitaka tutakanyaga kwa jina la Yesu Hallelujah Mwaka uliopita Mungu alitupa neno Tena kuna neno la mwaka huu Watu wengi wamesema 2020 umekuwa ni mwaka mgumu lakini ningependa nikwambie ukweli kwamba 2021 utakuwa mgumu zaidi Mtaandikiwa mambo mengi it will be year of breakthrough utakuwa ni mwaka wa God is my day Hayo <laughs> mambo mengine yote but I want to tell you the truth Mwaka wa 2021 ambao tunaingia in a few minutes will it be a more difficult year than 2020 but 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 there is something i also know every time when things are difficult those who belong to god enjoy hallelujah listen mwaka utakuwa mgumu lakini wale ambao ni watoto wa Mungu Mungu atafanya distinction kati yenu na watu wengine Hallelujah This year 2021 you shall know who belongs to God and who doesn't belong to God While the year will be very difficult there will be a distinction. Mimi nikiwa hapa mbele yenu, tayari nimeanza kufurahi. Nimeanza kufurahi kwa sababu ninamjua Mungu. Mungu ambaye tunamfuata. Anajua nyakati na majira. Anajua mwisho kutokea mwanzo. Na kwa hiyo leo nikizungumza, nimeleta neno la Mungu mbele zenu. Neno la Mungu anayejua mwisho kutokea mwanzo, anayejua mwanzo baka mwisho. Amesha tuambia kama kanisa na kama wa Kristo kwamba it will not be very easy for everyone, but it will be a walk over for those who belong to him. Miaka ambayo imepita imekuwa ni miaka ambayo watu wamefurahi wale hawako kwa Mungu. Na wale ambao ni watoto wa Mungu kwa miaka ya nyuma wameteseka, wameangaika, wameangaishwa, wamesumbuka lakini mwaka wa 2021 it will be the opposite. Watu wa Mungu. Wale ambao ni watoto wa Mungu ndio watafurahi. Haleluya. Mwaka huu wa 2021 utajenga nyumba yako kwa jina la Yesu. Ni mwaka mgumu lakini sio mgumu kwetu. It will be a difficult here for them. Hallelujah. Praise God. Kwenye Biblia Kitabu cha Mwanzo 26 26 Genesis 26 and verse 12 are we there? Genesis 26 eh? and verse 12. Bibiria inaungia kuhusu mtoto wa Ibrahimu anaitwa Isaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hello? Leo hapa tukiondoka unaweza ukasahau majina mengine lakini usisahau Isaka. Yaani ni kama leo tumekuja kupewa jina mpya Isaka. Hallelujah. In a summer, Isaac planted crops in that land and the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. Lakini ukisoma kwanzia verse 1. In a summer, now there was a famine in the land. Besides the area famine of Abraham's time, 
And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, in Gera. Kukatokea na nja, na Biblia inasema, wachana na ila nja ya kwanza ya Ibrahimu. Kukatokea na nyingine. Kwa hiyo kuna kuanga na nja ya kwanza na nja ya pili. Kuna wezekana kuwe na korona ya kwanza na korona ya pili. Halo. Na wanasemanga kwamba korona ya pili ni mbaya kuliko ya kwanza. Na kwa hiyo wakati huu kukatokea na njaa mbaya kuliko ya kwanza. That means the times were bad than the previous ones. Na tunaingia kwa mwaka ambao ni mbaya kuliko wa 2020. But I want to give you good news. Nimesoma hapo inasema kukatokea njaa lakini ukifika mstari wa 12 inasema Isaka akapanda he planted there was famine famine is caused by drought wakati mwingi njaa usababishwa na kiangazi lakini huyo mtu pamoja na kwamba kulikuwa na kiangazi akapanda tu ndio ujue kuna wanaume wanamwamini Mungu Wakati wanasema hakuna kwenda soko unatafuta mbinu tu you, you, you must find a way mwaka huu ambao tunaingia hata ukisikia mambo ni magumu wewe enda mbele tu songa tu kwa jina la Yesu Alijua kwamba kuna kiangazi Alisikia kwamba kuna kiangazi lakini Biblia inasema na, na, na Biblia inasema njaya wakati huo ilikuwa mbaya kuliko ya kwanza Kia 2021 Mambo ya naweza kuwa magumu Kuliko ya 2020 Lakini nataka we uendere tu Uendere tu Kwa sababu mungu Akona njia anabariki watu wanao uendere tu Wengine watasema Oh biashara yangu iriisha Utasema hata kama kuna dalili kwa ba iriisha Nitapanda tu Nitapanda tu Hallelujah Na Biblia inasema Isaac planted crops in that land And the same year He ripped a hundredfold Because the Lord was with him The Lord will be with you The Lord will be with you Ama munafikiri nimekuja hapa kusema manana mengine Nimekuja ni kwabia mungu wako na wewe Mungu watasimama na wewe Kutakuwa na mambo lakini God will be with you the Lord sent me here today to tell you He will be with you. Asijasikia kama kuna mutu ninaongea na yeye. Angalia na iba muulise unasikia. Sijui zioni kama kuna watu wanasikia. Mwangalia muambia the Lord will be with you. Ebu ni kuambia. Iko siri wakati mungu anakuwa na mtu. Yani mtu ambaya mungu anakuwa na yeye Rana asingi Magonjwa ayayinki Umaskini awi The Lord will be with you Nataka unisikie Hakuna mtu amewai kwa na mungu Akakosa kubarikiwa Na kwa sababu nimesema mungu atakuwa na wewe Ni mana manisha baraka itakuwa na wewe Baraka itakuwa na wewe Somebody shout hallelujah Baraka itakuwa na wewe ah, Leo sioni kama muna shangiria Na iyo baraka sio kwamba itajerewa Ukia muka maasubui ya kwanza ya tarehe mocha Utaona baraka Utaona dariri Yes Utaona dariri kwa china la yesu Hata wale muko kwa hema kule mbali Utaona dariri kwa china la yesu Utaona dariri kwa china la yesu Utaona dariri kwa china la yesu Uta... Utaona ishara kwa china la yesu Praise be to God Na mustari wa kumina tatu Inasema the man became rich. Say, I have already become rich. 
Nasikia Isaaka anakuwa rich wakati wa kiangazi na wakati wa njaa. Kwa sababu pamoja na kwamba kulikuwa na kiangazi na njaa aliamua kupanda. Sema nitapanda. Hata kama majira yatakuwa magumu bado nitapanda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The, the man became rich and his wealth continued to grow. Hey. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama kuanza kutajirika wakati majira si mazuri. Maana wealth yako itaendelea ku grow until he became very wealthy. Oh, I can see you becoming very wealthy in the name of Jesus. I can see somebody being lifted in the name of Jesus. I can see you being lifted in the name of Jesus. Shout yes. Now sit down. Sit down and listen to me. Isaac became very rich and his wealth continued to grow. Sikia mtu wa Mungu baraka ya Mungu inatajirisha kuna watu hawapendi utajiri lakini pamoja na wacha wale wanaubiri umasikini waendelee lakini sisi ambao tumeketi hapa tupende sana utajiri tafuta kabisa kama iko mpegu ya kupandwa wakati wa kiangazi wakati mambo si mazuri ipandeni tena kwa furaha mwaka huu wa 2021 panda kwa furaha panda kwa furaha eh wakati unakwenda sokoni hata kama jana haukuuza kesho yake nenda kwa furaha hata kama ulikuwa na stress kasini siku iliyopita siku inayofuata nenda kwa furaha nataka nikwambie kitu usiangalie majira Angalia Mungu ambaye amekuja kukubariki. Nyakati sikiwa ngumu, watu wa Mungu wanasonga mbele. Please tukae. Kitabu cha kutoka tisa mstari wa ine. Mungu anapenda kuonyesha tofauti kati ya watu wake na watu wengine. Hata hapa kwenye taifa letu Kenya, hata kwenye kaunti hii ya Kisimu hali tuko kuna watu wa Mungu na kuna watu wengine. Na miaka yote nimekaa kisi tangu niingie hapa. Nimeona watu wengine wanaonekana wakiendelea na watu wa Mungu ni kama wamekanyagiwa. Na nimekuwa nikimuuliza mwanga Mungu mwaka we, wa watu wako wa kuinuliwa utaanza lini? Mungu akaniambia mwaka ule umefika ndio huu ni mgumu sana na Mungu ameufanya mgumu ndio kwa watu wake uwe rais. Unless it becomes impossible, God cannot intervene. It is when things are impossible that the power of God is made manifest. Mungu wetu ataonekana. Aasi wa wetu Mungu wangu, Mungu wangu ataonekana. Mungu wangu ataonekana. Watu wanasema ni Mungu wa Pastor Morobe nimekuja kumtangaza Mungu. Huyu Mungu ndiye anatajirisha. Ndiye anayeponya. Ndiye anayebariki. Hebu hebu kani kwambie. Do you people know? Kama tutakutana tena na nyinyi hapa December that first 2021 mkiwa hai. Haleluya. Na, na kuna watu mkwaba kwenye kikao cha leo mtafika tarehe 31 2021 December utakuja kama hautaona ugonjwa mwaka mzima. Hey! Haleluya. Hivi kwani tumekusanyika hapa kukesha kama machambasi? Hivi tumekusanyika hapa kama watu tusiona akili. Hivi tumekusanyika hapa kama hatuna network. Tumekusanyika kwa sababu Bwana amesema tukusanyike, tusikie neno la mbinguni la mwaka wa 2021. You can be seated again. 
Exodus chapter 9 verse 4 Bibiria inasema but the Lord will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and that of Egypt so that no animal belonging to Israelites will die Wacha nirudi tena chapter 8 verse 23 Dio sikia Mungu anasema nini kuhusu watu wake Chapter 8 verse 23 Angalia niba mwambie kutakuwa na tofauti Na kama unamini mwangalia mwambie nimeona tofauti Now chapter 8 verse 23 Sikia kuna watu wengine Ha watu wengine ambao mwemekua mkiangalia muna admire Munaona kama maisha yao ya naendrea vizuri Ya kwa ya naendrea vizuri Gochia this year Uta, Watakuwa admire Ha 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 Aleluya Umekua ukikama hali unajiambia Ama niende kwa nani Hata kama amupendi mungu Naona kama mebarikiwa Na sioni kama mimi ninainuka Mwaka huu watakuja kwako Mana wewe ndiye utabarikiwa Neno hili ninaungea kwa wada munamini Ritatimia kwa rasma Bwana yesu asifiwe Sit down and listen. Bwana anasema hivi. Kwenye kitabu cha kutoka nane mstari wa 23. I will make a distinction between my people and your people. And this miraculous sign will occur tomorrow. Tremoja Mimi ni nafura kwa sababu kwa dunia nzima sisi ndio watu wa kwanza kukanyaga tarehe moja. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Tomorrow say it tomorrow. Tomorrow is not that night. Hii sasa ni kama usiku. Lakini tomorrow it means in the morning. Kwa hiyo ninyi mlio kaa hapa kama mnamwamini Mungu kesho asubuhi kutakuwa na ishara ya kwanza ya kukuonyesha kwamba Mungu ameanza kuyashughulikia maisha yako. Shout! Hallelujah. Na sit down. Na kwa, kwa wale wengine maana hatuhubiri wa Kristo peke yao. Kwa wale wengine ambao hamjawahi mpenda Kristo ambao mkituangalia mnatuona kama tumekosa network mwaka huu ndio mtahadimaya network yetu miaka ya nyuma mpaka mimi mchungaji wenu nimekuwa nikiangalia wengine ninaadimaya network hata wachungaji marafiki zangu wengine wanaacha mambo ya injili wanasema afadhali tuingie hata kwa siasa ndio tupate network hawakujua kwamba 2021 itafika wakati tutakuwa plugged into the network listen to me again it will be a very difficult year for them it will be the best year for us hallelujah praise be to God in a summer I will make a distinction between my people and your people now Kwa hao marafiki zetu wengine ambao wachachiunga na Yesu mufanya hivyo usiku wa leo kama mnataka ku benefit 2021 wacha hiyo uchambasi uchambasi chiunganishe na Yesu connect with Jesus na kesho kama kutakuwa na kanisa imefunguliwa hapo karibu na kwenu for those of you who are watching us kama kutakuwa na kanisa imefunguliwa nenda pale uchiunganishe na Yesu Maana mwaka wa 2021 ni wa watu ambao wako connected na Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua siku moja Mungu alikuwa anawaondoa wana wa Israeli Misri. Na Biblia inafundisha kwamba kuna wa Misri waliamua kuchiconnect na Waisraeli. Ukisoma habari za kitabu ya kutoka 12 mstari wa 38 inakuonyesha kwamba kuna bahati ya wamisiri. Misri waligundua kwamba hawa watu wa Mungu wamebarikiwa 
wakati connect na wao na ndio nataka niwaibie siri wale watu ambao hawaendi makanisani mwaka huu mambo yamebadilika wanasiasa wanasema bintumbi jenjanga astwa twaraja ndekire kurumaega na inti bono twabiokire omwako ito jire twabiokire aser aser yetaria yeso kristo nja ya kwanza ilisumbua Ibrahim lakini nja ya biri haikusumbua mtoto wake maana Mungu alikuwa na yeye wazazi wetu waliteseka wale wa zamani wakateseka sisi hatutateseka maana Mungu yuko na sisi mwaka huu msiangalie wanasiasa wao wanajipanga vizuri wamesema waje tumalize BBI ndio tuone mahali gani tutajiunganisha sisi tayari tumejiunganisha wanasiasa wanasubiri BBI ndio wajiunganisha sisi tumejiunganisha leo haleluya to baisa go teberra manganabo teberra yanko go tebibono ebuatani amono mwano nyasao koro kwa yesu We are not waiting for any other time. Our time has come. Our time has come. If you have to answer, shout say my time has come. Shout it again my time has come. If you believe it, shout even more my time has come. Na sit down. Naomba munisikilize kwa makini sasa. Because I am grateful that the prophetic seed is already planted in your heart. Hiyo imepandwa ndani yako. Sit down again. Na, na kwa wale ndugu zetu ambao wangependa kuconnect na hii hatutawafungia nje inawezekana na wao wasafiri na sisi mwaka mzima bila kuugua. Bila kuona njaa na by the way monday on the fourth your children will all go to school all of them nataka mkae niwaambie maana nimemaliza mambo niliyokutumwa nije kuleta hapa watoto wenu wangapi wote maana mungu ameanza shughuli ya kuonyesha tofauti kati ya watu wake na na wengine kwa wale wengine ambao wanataka ku benefit kama sisi if they want to become beneficiary let them connect with Jesus let them connect with Jesus haleluya so as you begin this first day tomorrow remember god will make a distinction between you and them between who you and them God will make a distinction between you and them. And I repeat, God will make a distinction between you and them. Mungu wa mbinguni awabariki. Abariki familia zenu. Abariki mifugo yenu. Abariki jamii zenu. Ayaondoe magonjo miongoni mwenu aondoe umaskini miongoni mwenu wakati mwaka ni mgumu msafiri kwa wepesi may you receive all that you expect from now in jesus name lift up your two hands to heaven sit down sit down and lift up your hands Baba kila mtu aliye kanyaga hapa kupokea makampi ataona uso wako mwaka huu ambao tumeingia wa 2021 kutakuwa na mabadiliko makubwa makubwa kwa kila familia 
ambayo imehusika tonight kwa kila jamii ambayo imehusika tonight na kwamba kuanzia leo kwenda mbele kila mtu atakumbuka kwamba yuko Mungu anayebariki maana utawabariki kweli kweli na utajiri utawabariki kweli kweli na afya kuanzia siku ya leo watakuwa salama siku zote za maisha yao sante mfalme pokea sifa na utukufu sasa na hata milele katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen Thank you. Mungu awabariki sana wale ambao wamekuwa kanisani kwa huu mkesha na wale ambao wamekuwa mkitutazama eh, kwenye runinga zenu Mungu awabariki sana na mwaka huu vile tumeuanza sasa utakuwa ni mwaka wa baraka lakini sio kwa kila mtu kwa wale tu watakao connect na Yesu. Watu wengine wanaweza kuwa na matatizo. Ndio maana nikiondoka hapa na wapa ushauri connect with Jesus. Connect with Jesus. Kama unataka safari yako ya 2021 iwe salama, siri ni moja. Connect with Jesus. Mungu awabariki sana. Pigia Yesu makofi mazuri. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I now officially Declare this new year 2021. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Have your hands and thank him for this new year. Thank you for this new year. Welcome to Gospel Embassy Chapel and be spiritually nourished by Pastor Peter Murwabi. Skiza, shetani yupo na lazima tumjulishe kwamba sisi pia tumemfahamu Mungu. You can also watch the Pastor and uplifting sermons live on YouTube channel every Saturday. Haki ya Mungu kwa jina la Yesu, maisha yao yataharibika. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen. Gospel Embassy Network TV, the place to feed on heavenly bread. Matthew 24 verse 14 And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come.